It's finally happening. We're actually going to see Noah. Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Um, the problem is we've been sleeping in every day and by the time we would see the showing of Noah that we want to see, which is at 6.30, it's too late because we're getting up too late and getting started on our day too late. But today we got up a little bit earlier, got started on stuff a little sooner and I got some stuff accomplished. We've come out here, it's now six o'clock. Stopped by Steak and Shake to grab a meal. This isn't even close to what I ordered. Didn't I get the bacon cheeseburger? Uh, yeah. There's, there's an... no bacon and there's no ketchup. Really? Mm-hmm, it's mayo. Wow. Good job, Steak and Shake. And this is what I ordered. I just, I didn't have anything special. I just said the number three. Man, it's kind of small. Steak and Shake, Steak and Shake, ah. Uh, it's pretty good though, but not really. Shake and Shake's a weird beast because like, they're not a fast food restaurant, but they are a fast food restaurant. But you're reminded that they're not fast when you go through their drive-through because they're really, like they take a long time. They're a sit down restaurant, but also not. And also it's not, I don't feel like it's that great. But they do have all you can eat pancakes for four bucks. We gotta do that at some point. I don't know when, but we're gonna do it. Anyway, I'll finish this up, go inside, do up, do up a Noah. One other thing worth noting is that Player's Choice moved. Like, they used to be down there with that little gray sign right there, and then they moved down here and they got a bigger slash nicer store. So I'm gonna go in here and show it. Also, I have never ever shown these people that we talk about fairly often. But this is Roland, and this is my. Should I call you Michael on the video? Okay, I'm gonna call you Michael. <laughs> Everyone calls him Hinkle. We'll call. You know what? Screw it. Now you're Hinkle. You're Hinkle and Roland. This is it. This is the new store. And at this point, I'm probably probably gonna bring in some music because Footloose is playing, and that will send me to jail. So I'm gonna show off this new store. Noah is a film that is playing that we saw. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I, I mean, the thing was, and I, I don't know how you felt about it. Mal and I, anytime we go and see a movie, we don't, we try not to talk about it till we're filming. So it's like our genuine, like first reaction that we're sharing together. Um, Although Mal did mention on the way out that she didn't like the costume design because it felt fake. Yes. Non-authentic. Out of time. Out of time. Well, to be fair, there was they also like the industrial revolution went on too during Noah's time suddenly. Anyway, um, I liked the film. My problem with the film was that I felt like it could have ended two thirds in. And I, th I feel like it could have ended very well. Like, I w I, whenever I'm watching a movie, ever since I started doing the Leatherboxd thing um, in January, I'm continually, like, giving the movie a rating. And I keep reevaluating the rating I'm going to give the movie. And early in the movie, I really liked the movie. I was, like, get I was, like, I was hovering around a 4, and I was thinking, man, this could do 4.5. I really like this film. There was some... Um, you know, I, I think a big issue for me and probably a lot of other watchers is that if you grew up um, in a, you know, a religious town or a religious household or you heard these stories often, you become very married to the ideas of them. And I think it's one of the problems that, that Noah has is that you become so married to this story and how you understand the story that if other elements are introduced, you have a, you start to be like, wait, no. But then if you can watch it and accept it as a story, 
and as a derivative, as an alternative version of, you know, the biblical story, it's a lot more entertaining. The people that are getting upset over this movie are the ones that are having a hard time accepting it as a story. If you can accept it as a story, you'll have fun. Anyway, but for the first two-thirds of the movie, I was hovering, like, around a 4.0 or 4.5, and I was like, I really like this film. Then when they finally got onto the arc, things really fell apart for me. Um, uh, like, I, in my opinion, there, there's a scene in the film, I don't want to spoil stuff, but this will be like a tiny, tiny thing. There's a scene in the film where they actually show, and it was a really cool addition, where they show the Big Bang and evolution, which was really neat and a really kind of cool way to marry science and religion in this film. Um, but right after they told that, like, shortly thereafter, kind of would have been a good area to end it. In fact, I thought it was going to end right around that area because he was like, Noah was being all like, oh, this is blah, blah, blah. And then he told this cool story and I was like, wow, that was, that was neat. And then everything from that point forward went to crap for me. Like, the, there was so much drama, girlfriend, on that arc. I was like, oh my God. Ah, it was, I don't know, it felt like I was in high school and I was, I was just following teenage girls around for like 45 minutes. There was so much drama on the boat, man. I, I was having a hard time with it. Because up until that point, I really, 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 really liked the film. And then on the boat, I was like, yeah, and I just slowly slipped down. And uh, I, I'm not home yet to write this letterbox review, which I will do and we'll put a link in the description. But it's going to get a hardcore 3.5, which isn't, isn't bad. It's not bad, and I liked the film. I, I, want to, I want to stress that, that I did like the film, and I think that, I feel like you should see it. It was good. But, man, uh, it really, that was the slipping point for me. And there was, some, there was some good stuff that happened after it slipped down. I mean, every once in a while I'd be like, yeah, okay. But all in all, oh my god, the film was so much better that film was so much better on dry land. <laughs> the special effects were, of course, amazing. There's actually one scene I got, I got chills, man. Noah is envisioning this, you know, how, how this flood is going to happen. And he is, he's under the water and all the people are on, under the water. And then the animals start shooting up out of the water. And that was like the coolest, I don't know, I really, really liked that. Um, there was some other, uh, other very cool stuff. I mean, it was Aronofsky, which is the primary reason I wanted to see the film. And it's not like, if you're expecting Requiem crazy, then you're gonna be very disappointed because there's none of that. But there, I don't know, it kind of pokes through every once in a while. You can tell. It does. Like there's, there's moments where you're like, ah, we almost forgot who was making this film. But I mean, overall, don't expect anything nuts. Um, but it was good. It, was it his strongest work? No, but was it, was it worth seeing? I think so, yeah. Um, I just, I don't know. The drama on the boat was a little, a little much for me. But all in all, I did, I did enjoy the film. So yeah, this has been another <laughs> film review in the dark because we always see movies at night and then we talk about them when we get into the car and it's always really dark and I apologize for that. Anyway, um, so yeah, go see Noah or don't. But I liked it and uh, you know I, I feel like you should, you should check it out as well. Uh, tomorrow the agenda is replant the plants because the plants are way too friggin big. They're way too big and they need to be transplanted again because they are... To the patio. To the patio because they're out of the room. So that is the agenda for tomorrow. Uh, quickly running out of spring break time for Mao and we got to get a few more things done but we'll get it done as soon as we can. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we? So I gotta roll this one because it's in my way otherwise. And my cheese broke. Ah! Yeah, that's what cheese does. Oh, hi. How are you? You seem to be... Oh, you really like to vomit. Okay, that's cute. I'm gonna kill the bone man, so it's just me and you, pal. You want a piece of this? You want a piece of our gal, huh? You want a piece of this? You're a big, big guy, ain't ya? <laughs>